Hi and welcome to the Word of the Week. This week's word is root. Now our message of the month is rock solid stability and nothing represents stability more than roots. Uh, the roots of a tree, the deeper they go, the stronger the tree is, the harder it is for it to be knocked over. It can bend, it can sway, but it won't fall over and that's stability. Now for ourselves, the development of root is a very important concept to uh, to look at. Now, in movement, for example, uh, as we teach in Tai Chi classes here, uh, we teach a lot of rooting exercises. This is the ability to uh, feel your body connect to the ground, to uh, feel your energy connect uh, and sink into the ground, which allows you to be more stable. Right? And remember what our definition of stability, that stability is not about being rigid, it's about being able to be flexible and to always uh, find that equilibrium in your movement. So the deeper your root, the more stable your stance is, the more stable you are even as you're moving. Uh, but stability can go further than that. The rooting can go much further than that. So when we think about uh, our personal roots, there are a lot of things that we have in our lives that provide us that feeling of stability, that keep us rooted or grounded, right? Connected to the ground. Um, for some people, uh, they are relationally rooted, right? So uh, it's through uh, family and friends that help us to feel stable, to, to keep us uh, equal and balanced. Uh, for some people, it's, it's through uh, beliefs or, or uh, religious or spiritual practices, right? So there's this connection that, that helps us to feel uh, more grounded. Uh, for some people, uh, it's personal philosophies or it's traditions uh, or it's uh, some form of structure or regiment. Uh, fraternity is an, another way of thinking about it. So uh, there's things like in the military and, and uh, you know, other things where there is a, a very structured kind of life and it helps you, that kind, of, that kind of structure helps you to maintain your feeling of balance. Now we each are going to have different ways of rooting. Just like not every plant has the same root system. Uh, the, the root systems of a cactus are different from the root systems of a, uh, a spruce. And they grow in different areas, so they must have a different kind of rooting system. So what helps you feel grounded may not be the best thing for someone else. But you've got to find, we all have to find something that helps us to feel connected, connected to the earth. And just like with roots, we can think about our roots going uh, very deep and more singularly, or we can think about our roots spreading out more. Uh, so uh, there, are, there are many ways that you can do this, but it is important that it be done. Uh, so when we identify what our roots are, what our support system, and what we get our nourishment from, when we can identify those things, then we can make sure that we keep them healthy. Because with a plant, if the roots are damaged, then the plant will die. So we need to make sure that our roots stay healthy, that they continue to connect us to the things that we need to be connected with, that we can draw nourishment from that, which will give us the stability in our lives, both mentally, physically, and emotionally. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this week's lesson. Hope to see you next week.